say what's good nation. Ugh. Okay. Um, Mr. Lyles, you have everybody in an uproar, man. You know, Noah Lyles out here starting trouble, starting trouble, starting trouble. <laughs> Oh, God. Where do I begin with this? All right, listen, right? Because this whole thing comes down to two sides, right? You have one side who says, you know, it's literally in the name, the National Basketball Association. National means a country, not worldwide. So how could you call yourself world champions? And then you have the other side that says, well, it is the best competition from around the world. So technically, that makes you a world champion if you beat them. Technically. So it's like... <laughs> so, you know, you have your two sides. But anyway, for those of you who need to get caught up, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, um, this is Noah Lobs. He is a six-time track and field world champion and I can call him world champion because he's raced against people from around the world not just in the United States not throwing shots I'm just saying facts are facts and he made some comments about NBA champs calling themselves world champs and it got everybody in an uproar as I just explained at the top of the video but you know, there are some people who was with him. There are some people who came out against him. You know, they even have people like Drake. He chimed in. They have Shikari Richardson. Richardson, pardon me. She chimed in. Some NBA players, they chimed in. Stephen A. Smith gave his uh, thoughts on it. Evan Fournier. I'm um, not sure if he plays in the NBA anymore, but I know he did. He gave his um, thoughts. We're going to we're gonna get into all of that. But, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. We're going to watch the video that started it all, first and foremost. But before we do that, please make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube at Reamfit TV. Right now, we are at 633 subs. We'll be at 700 before we know it. Appreciate all of you. And of course, man, follow me on my Facebook page as well at Reamfit TV. And follow me on my Twitters at Reamfit24. All right, enough me plugging shit. I know, I got you. Before we start today's video, just want to let you guys know that I am nominated for Best Actor at the Trailblazer Awards. I need you guys' help to help me bring home this award. This is my first ever nomination for Best Actor. So please, if you guys could, help me bring home this award by simply going to the link in the description section. It's going to lead you to this page here. And then... Under the second, on the second column, it says actor, choose one. You go down to my name, Kareem Shabazz. You click my name, you go down, you enter your email. You don't really have to put your real email. You can put any email you want to, whatever. But anyway, I need you guys to vote. Help me out. Help me bring home this W. All right, back to the video in progress. Let's watch this video that started this whole thing. Champion of what? Champion of what? The United States? You know, the thing that hurts <laughs> me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? The United States? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, I love the U.S. <laughs> at times. <laughs> But that ain't the world. <laughs> that is not the world. We are the world. We have almost every country out here fighting, thriving, putting on their flag to show that they are represented. There ain't no flags in the NBA. <laughs> world champion of what? <laughs> the United States? I'm sorry, I just want to hit that part again. But anyway, the man isn't, listen, let me tell you something, right? Watching that video, the man is not lying, right? Is he lying? No, but is he lying though? No, get out your feelings, get out your feelings, but is he lying though? 
Yeah, no, no flags are represented in the, in, in the NBA. It's all the United States and Canada, if you want to call that international. Technically, it is. Still, it's still not the world. He isn't lying. It's not like you can compare it to what he's doing when, you know, he is actually racing against people from around the world who is being represented by the being represented by the flags on their shirts. The NBA does not have that. Yes, granted, I would give you guys that the NBA has the best talent from around the world. Yes, I give you guys that. But it is not the world. It just isn't. It's in the name. National Basketball Association. What does national mean? I said at the top of the video. Like I said, a lot of people are disagreeing, but the man is not wrong. But anyway, so I want to um, just show you guys real quick. You know, some NBA players, they chimed in on this. Um, um, Kevin Durant said somebody helped his brother. Um, I, I'm not sure easy. I think that's um, Litter. I think that's D-Litter. But anyway, um, D-Litter said, no, no, that's Kevin Durant. Pardon me. Kevin Durant, somebody helped his brother. D-Brook, hand, uh, face paint emoji. Damian Litter, the fall, yeah. Whatever you're smoking, buddy, in the 200 man. Yeah, this ain't it. Last time I checked, the NBA has the best competition in the world. Big fan, but gone with that, bro. Hashtag suckers. But like, like I said, these guys are calling him names and making you know jokes about him. But is he? They, one thing, not saying that he's lying. How he's not lying? Like somebody in the comment section, tell me, is he lying though? I'm going to say it again. National Basketball Association. National. Not International Basketball Association. National Basketball Association. You know, like I said, it may contain some of the best talent. I'm not going to say it may. It does contain the best talent from around the world, yes. But that technically does not make you a world champion. Technically, it doesn't. But anyway... So, um, Shakari Richardson, she is standing with Lyle, and she says, and I quote, I'm standing with Noah on this one. Lyle's Noah. The organization have players from different countries, but they do not compete against different countries. You have to go against the world in order to be a world champion. Simple as that. It's just, I don't, I don't understand the confusion. Why is everybody so, why is everybody even mad about this? Why, why does it even matter? You guys are millionaires. I wouldn't even give a crap. If I was a millionaire, I, I wouldn't care about the comments of somebody. All right, whatever. We're, I'm not a world champion. All right, whatever. Like, but he's still not wrong, though. I, I, I don't think he's wrong. But anyway, um, this is Drake's response. He says he thought this speech was going to go so hard in the mirror the night before. Now the whole league doesn't rate you. Nobody is calling this man a liar. All they're doing is insulting him. But that still doesn't, you're, you're not, you're, you're not. Proving nothing. You're not coming with no facts, nothing. You just all emotion, all this, all what I'm seeing from the NBA players, in my opinion, all I'm seeing from the NBA players, from Drake now, is just all emotion, insults and jokes. That's it. But what? Where are the facts? The fact that it is, he's not lying. He came with facts. Mr. Lyles came at you guys with facts. Fact. It's called the NBA. Fact. The NBA players do not play against anybody from around the world to win the championship. Fact, when the people that he is competing against, they have, that he is competing against people from around the world who are represented by their flags and their shirt. Fact, all facts. All I'm seeing from these guys is just insults and jokes. That's it. But anyway, um, I wanna watch this clip from Evan, from Evan Fournier on the whole situation. Noah Lyles, I don't know if you saw what he said about world champions and NBA champions. And it's, it's has, said, has many, many, many people talking also in the U.S. about it. What do you think about Noah Lyles' comments? <laughs> You're trying to get a headline, huh? Uh, I think it's the, the point of view uh, of a lot of Americans that when, when they win at home, since it's the best you know, championship in the world, automatically you're a world champ. Uh, I can understand that point of view, but... I agree that it should be, you know, just NBA champ personally. Uh, and, and, you know, if you participate in the World Cup or even the Olympics and you win, you have a right to call yourself world champion. But, He's you know, not lying. when...
Exactly. If you participate in the World Cup and the Olympics, then you have the right to call yourself a world champion. Not just, but they don't do that. They just compete against people in the NBA. How are you a world champion? It's just a point of view. I agree with that. Mm. I mean, the way I look at it is NBA champions. For sure, they're, they're the best team, but it's just it's just a title. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not that big a deal. It's just a title. But for, for him to say that, I, I understand where he's coming from because he's an athlete and, and, and he just won world titles. You know? It's, it's, I mean, it's just a matter of titles. That's it. No alliance. I don't know if you... Hey, listen, man. I don't... I, I, I don't know. I just think me personally, you know, everybody is making this is not even that big of a deal. I don't even I don't understand why people are even upset about this, but the man still isn't wrong. However, y'all may feel about it. The man ain't wrong. The man is not wrong. You guys are NBA champions, not world champions. Just because the best talent from around the world comes to the NBA that does not make you a world champion you did not compete against people you did not compete against different countries pardon me you may have competed against people from different countries but you never competed by against the countries themselves so you are a national champion anyway let's watch this clip from Stephen a Smith and then we're gonna wrap this video up don't want this to be too long First of all, congratulations to your greatness. Continue to represent this country the way that you did. Major props to you. I'm sure he's a good brother and a whole bit. He just came across as flagrantly ignorant, and that needs to be said. The, it, the NBA has established itself as a global, iconic brand. Arguably, the best player in the game today, in a lot of people's eyes, is uh, Nikola Jokic. Okay, you've got guys from Serbia, so Slovenia, you know, the list goes on on Luka Doncic. Where's he from? All right, Giannis Antetokounmpo, where's he from? Greece. I'm looking at a number right here. According to a news release posted just last, last October, the NBA currently features 120 players from 40 countries and six continents on its roster. That does not mean they are competing against those countries directly. Those players are in the United States competing still does not make you a world champion. Just it just doesn't. It doesn't. They are competing against people from those countries granted, but they are not competing against the countries themselves. Oh, I don't rewinded it. The NBA has established itself as a global iconic brand. Arguably the best player in the game today in a lot of people's eyes is uh, Nikola Jokic, okay? You've got guys from Serbia, so Slovenia, you know, the list goes on on Luka Doncic. Where's he from? All right, Giannis Antetokounmpo, where's he from? Greece. I'm looking at a number right here. According to a news release posted just last, last October, the NBA currently features 120 players from 40 countries and six continents on its roster for last season. And it's increased now. So how is that not global? How is that not the world champion? The best players from around the world descend upon America to join the National Basketball Association. Okay, okay, right? I can see that point of view. But listen, that they are not coming to America as representatives for their country. They are coming to America's come to America as individuals. And once they get to the NBA, they are representatives of a team. The team that is based in one of these American cities and Canada. So that is not the world. It just isn't. It's not the world. And it's not. It's just not. <laughs> It just isn't, yo. Know? It's, it's not. I don't understand. What, what is so hard for people to understand? NBA, National Basketball Association. It's not hard. Like I said, the NBA does feature the best talent from around the world. But those talents are not representing, not representing, not representing their home countries. They are representing themselves. And once they get to the NBA, they are 
becoming representatives of a team which is based in one of these American cities, like I just said, in Canada. So that's not the world. It just isn't. Technically speaking, they are from a different country, but yet they're not representing. They're not representing that country when we when they're playing in the NBA finals and for the NBA championship. They're not. Of the 450 plus players, nearly a third of them are international players. And the international players, rather than stay over there or electing to stay over in their respective countries or in Europe, China. If you see their jerseys, right? Where's the Bucks? Where, where's the Bucks? Where's Milwaukee? In Wisconsin. Where's that? In America. What about the Clippers? Los Angeles. Again, California, which is where? America. Yes, they are international players. But once they come over here, they are representing a team that is based in one of our American cities. That's not the world. It's just that. Or wherever the case may be. Same thing for Dallas. Dallas. Where is Dallas? Inside Texas. Where is Texas? In America. Still national. Ugh. To play basketball. They want to come to the league, the NBA, because it's the best basketball league on the planet. Nobody said it wasn't the best basketball on the planet, Steven. That's not the conversation. Nobody said that. Nobody said that. No facts here at all. They're just picking that stuff now. So Noah Lyles said a very, very, very ignorant comment because a third, almost a third of the players are from around the world. Again, 40 countries, six continents. One could easily argue that NBA players compete more against international competition than he does. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I guess. Um, how long is this video? This video has been going on for 16 minutes. I don't want this video to go on any longer. Like I said, me personally, I don't have a dog in this fight, right? But um, my personal opinion, Noah Lyles, Mr. Lyles was not wrong. His statement was spot on and everybody who was mad about it, I didn't see nobody come with no facts. All, all I heard was just emotion and, and I've seen jokes and I've seen strong man arguments that I've seen people misconstrued his words. Nobody said the NBA wasn't the home of the best basketball in the world. Nobody said that. So um, no, nobody said anything to counter Noah effectively. Nobody said anything. No, nothing. I, I didn't hear nothing. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm out of my mind. You guys agree with me, disagree with me. Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to vote for me. Vote. Voting in September 6th, man. Please vote. Let's bring home that award. And I will see you guys in the next video. National Basketball. Association. National. All right, I'm done.